Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is episode 13 of the 2 over 1 series. This episode looks at when and how to bail out of a slam after a 2 over 1 game force. Technically, I have finished showing you all you need to know about the 2 over 1 system but I believe it helps to see it in action in different scenarios and working with the other parts of the bidding system. Let's do this with an example. This is board T34. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 16 high card points and one long point for a total of 17 points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi-balanced, and you have two biddable suits, spades and hearts. You apply the standard bidding rules and open one spade. West passes, partner bids two hearts, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a two over one game force. It shows 13 or more points and five or more hearts. You check for a fit with partner's major suit. You add your four hearts to partner's minimum of five for a total of nine hearts. You have an excellent fit with partner's suit and must revalue your hand. You replace your one long point with two dummy points for a total of 18 points. You now need to tell partner that you have a fit with their hearts. You do so by bidding hearts at the lowest possible level. You bid three hearts. West passes, partner bids three no trump, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is not an attempt to play no trump. You have already agreed to play a heart contract. You have seen this bid previously. It is a JAD no trump. It shows a maximum of 16 points and promises at least one Italian control in a side suit. You recall the rule you learned earlier in this series. With an agreed trump suit, and 17 or more points, you check to see if you have first or second round control of all the side suits. You have aces in all the suits except diamonds. You examine the diamond suit and realize that you do not have a first or second round control in that suit. Because you are missing a control, you should make an Italian control bid. You start with the cheapest biddable suit, clubs. You have the ace of clubs. You show your control of the club suit with the cheapest bid in that suit. You bid four clubs. West passes, partner bids four diamonds, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is an Italian control bid. It shows first or second round control in diamonds. You now know that your partnership has controls in all the side suits. You continue to look for a slam contract. You initiate the Roman keycard Blackwood convention. You bid for no trump. West passes. Partner bids five diamonds and east passes. It's your turn to bid. Once again, you interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows zero or three key cards. But which is it? You examine your own hand. You have three key cards. The aces of spades, hearts and clubs. There are only five key cards in total, so partner cannot have three. You realise that partner has no key cards. 
your partnership is missing two key cards, so a slam contract is very unlikely to succeed. You need to bail out of your pursuit of a slam. You do so by bidding the agreed suit as cheaply as possible. You bid five hearts. West passes. Partner knows you are bailing out and passes. And East passes to end the auction. The contract is five hearts by North. Partner will play the hand and you will be dummy. Now, Let's look at partner's hand. Your partnership is missing the king of trumps, the ace of diamonds, and the king of clubs. You are very likely to make your contract, but unlikely to take 12 tricks. Bailing out of the slam was a good call. Of course, it is possible that your contract of five hearts could fail even with perfect play. This is the risk you have taken to explore the possibility of a slam. Good scoring in bridge is all about taking sensible risks, just like this one. This video showed how to bail out of a slam exploration after a two over one game force. When you know your partnership doesn't have the cards needed, you should stop in the agreed strain as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that Bridge is for everyone.